potential clients call me and they're often saying, hey, my grandma was kind of nuts and was imagining like rats crawling around her bed and I can't believe that I can't invalidate this will because my brother, you know, basically showed up at grandma's house and had her change everything and give him everything. Challenging mental capacity is hard. People think it's just my grandma was forgetful or my grandfather acted a little weird. It's a lot more complicated than that. In order to have mental capacity to make a will or a trust, you simply just need to know who you are, what you own, and who your relatives. It's really not that hard to get past that. But people tend to think that if someone's a little forgetful or they're acting a little weird, they can contest a trust. Also, when you're contesting a trust, a lot of the medical records become extremely relevant. When we do these cases, we have to get the medical records. We have to see what medications people are taking. Are they taking dementia medication? Sometimes we're looking, are they taking high blood pressure medication? Are they on fentanyl, which is pain relievers for their back pain? Mental capacity is also fluid. So sometimes people are acting crazy 23 hours a day, but on hour 24, when they're sitting in front of an attorney, they actually seem very sane and they know who they are, they know what their stuff is and who they're gonna give it to. So in order to actually prove on mental capacity, we usually need medical records showing clear lack of mental capacity through psychological testing, medication showing dementia or some type of mental defect. And the star witness is often the attorney that did the will that we're trying to invalidate. Understandably, that attorney doesn't like being questioned and saying, hey guy, when this person was a drooling lunatic, why did you do the will? They usually don't take kindly and they defend themselves and it's pretty hard to get them to testify that they knew they were doing something that was wrong. So proving mental capacity is hard, but possible, but does require a lot of factors. So when people call me and say, hey, I think my grandma's a little forgetful and that's why the will cut me out, you probably don't have a good case.